right, you guys, back again. This time with another tool review. Uh, I know in the last video I reviewed that uh, cheap Chinese knockoff, and I figured I'd show you what I generally use. Plier Tech is a pretty known known brand between uh, repairers, and uh, I'm going to show you what it actually comes with. So this is a vise. So you put the two attachments in, you put it in the corner that you need, and you crimp them together. It's that simple. Um, with this kit that I bought, uh, depending on which kit you buy, it comes with different attachments. So as you can tell, this one's 6, 6S, 6+, 7, and 7+. plus. PlierTech also includes, uh, for the iPad Mini, Air, Pro, iPhone 5, 5S. These are the attachments. And the default ones it comes with is already attached. And this one is for iPad 2, 3, and 4. So it's a great set. I know it's a little more expensive. Actually, I found this one. A third party was selling it uh, $119. So cheaper than what I bought that other uh, cheaper plastic set. So uh, I'll show you how this actually works here in just a sec. But I just the quality alone is worth the amount that you pay for it. So... We'll get this uh, sorted, and I will show you how it works. I do have a phone I am working on for a customer. Um, he got it uh, done by a local shop here in the mall, and shortly after, the screen shattered, and I could show you if it'll focus on it. I'll show you why the screen shattered so quickly. See how the rounded edge here is bent? The slightest bend in your frame of your iPhone, your iPad, um, with an aluminum framing like this, if it's not perfect and you force the screen in there, it may fit, but the moment you drop it, the tension in that bent corner will shatter the screen. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about there. So as you can tell, the screen in all the corners are bad because... The corners on this phone are bad. So I'm going to show you how um, how this tool is used to bend back those corners and uh, how easy it is with uh, plier tech. <clears throat> I, I know actually uh, when they first came out, they're like 200 bucks, but uh, this is a pretty good deal. Uh, I'll link it down below. Plier tech is a great tool to use. And uh, we'll get started here. Alright, so to get started... Comes with an Allen Allen key. So this one is the 6S Plus. So we're going to use the 6S Plus tools. And I'll show you. So depending on which way you put these. So say you're doing an edge. Your uh, outside framing. You'll use this side. If you're using a corner, you'll use this side. So, I'll show you here. I don't know if it'll focus on it correctly here. So, you can tell which side to install, but depending on which do you want it to do sidewall or a corner is depending on which side you face in. So, since we're doing corners, you want to you want to line these up together. Alright, so I got these attached. Like I said, so if you want to do, these are the corners, so the way you have it, so obviously you have this part here, the rounded edge, that'll match up here as well. These will do the corners. You reverse them, they'll do the sidewalls. So let's see if I can get a little good lighting here. Trying to get it to where you could actually see it. 
<clears throat> it's so... <laughs> but as you can tell, that bend is no longer there. Sorry, I had to readjust it. Because you can't really see anything. It's really tough. But the way you use it is simple. You clamp it together, just like that. Since I already bent it back, you can't really... And you want to be gentle. Uh, you don't want to break... You don't, you don't want to break the framing. It takes little to no effort to bend back. So you just slowly do it. Like that. And... It's really tough to see. Because, <clears throat> uh, like I said, it was already previously bent. It may not be pretty uh, like it used to be. Because you can see where the uh, customer has dropped it. But I have bent back the framing. I'm going to have to bend back the sidewall here. And I already bent back this corner here. But it looks like the rest of the phone looks decent. I may try to bend that back a little. But overall, that is exactly how the tool works. Um, very, very well made. Highly recommended. Uh, yeah, I know I gave that other tool set a bad name, but your quality is as only good as your tool. So, um, unfortunately, that one did not work as well. Returned it. And like I said, this is my second set. Um, Plier Tech does supply these. Um, attachments so if you ever damage them or lose them you just contact them and it's a sm it, uh, the price is pretty uh, reasonable for these I don't know what they're at now I know at the time it was only like $20 to replace a couple heads that I have uh, you know after a while they do get damaged but not as quickly as the other ones did so I've used these a couple times not sure if you can zoom in on that but uh as you can tell the the finish is still there it's not chipping away so uh they're just like regular vices perfect easy to use so i uh, highly recommend this i'm gonna obviously put on amazon um definitely five star product they come with everything you need up until the iphone 7s not sure exactly when the iPhone 8s are coming out. So I hope you like the uh, review. I will make more content tech related. Computer, phones, whatever it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one.